Hi everybody, it's Julia here and today I thought we were just going to have some fun, sit down, have a little bit of play in the journal and uh, yeah, see what happens. And one technique that I've used quite a lot the latest is using these uh, Faber-Castell Artist Pit uh, Pen, brush pens. Um, so I'm just going to flip. So here is one example of how that looks. Um, also have one with birds. So yeah, just having some fun and thinking more about shapes than, uh, than color and details. So what I like to do when I start out is pull out the supplies I'm going to use. So I don't sit down and worry about what I'm going to use. So here is what I've pulled out. Uh, I have one of these pen brushes in beige red. I have one in cinnamon. I then have um, a cinnamon, but it's a albrecadeur, uh, so that it's a watercolor pencil. And this is on Arteza sketchbook, and this is on the cold press side of the paper. And then I have an al another albrecadeur in red violet. And then I have a red violet, but this is a pit pastel. So as you might notice here, <laughs> I like to use kind of um, a light color palette, but using, if I can, similar colors, but in different mediums. So um, watercolor pencil and this sort of ink pen, and then a watercolor pen and a pastel. So I just find that you get a really nice result. So I'm just going to show you how the uh, pens, they are beautiful. So these are new to me and I haven't done any sketching or projects with them. I have just swatched them out. Okay. So yeah, I think we can get started. Uh, I have opened up my Pinterest here to the side and one of the first images that came up was on an Afghan, uh, Afghan dog. And um, hey, why not? I have never painted an Afghan, so, so I'm going to start right here. So the reference image I have is of a dog just um, full um, uh, side. Sorry, <laughs> full side, uh, but it's facing left, so I want it on the right side of the paper, and I've already got some of that in here. So I'm starting with my lightest pen, and this is the um, beige red, and I'm just sketching with this one. And I know it could be a bit like I like to sketch with pencil, being able to erase, but I find the beauty of this sort of sketching method that I've been working on the last few times, uh, it's really fun just to go in. Uh, and then notice like how much of the initial line is disappearing. So they have quite a long snout, but it's sort of bent, so I really want to exaggerate that. And the beauty is that even though this is uh, these are India ink based, so they are permanent, but as you know in art nothing is really permanent is it so so just very loosely I'm trying to just get the shape not being too stiff <laughs> which is um, easier said than done when you're actually recording yourself talking about your process but yeah so I think it's quite easy especially with these dogs to get lost in all the hair they just look like they don't have any shape, it's just hair. Um, and I want to really try to bring out the shape in it, like really show that because they don't just have a lot of hair, they are trimmed within the inch of their lives. Um, so the groomers do an amazing job with them. So they look and have this shape and I really want to make sure I don't lose that with just thinking that it's all you can't see the actual dog. 
And then of course this very unique tail. Trying to get that shape right. So the image I'm looking at, I can't actually see the feet, which is, is, is a little bit annoying, but we're working with it. Um, let's see here, so we have that one that is going out, and then of course we have the eye. Okay, I think we're onto something, but this, it's way too thick here. So this line should really be up here, I think. Mm. Okay. I'm going to pick up my... Um, the same pen, but in cinnamon. It's a little bit darker, and I'm just wanting to add in some shadow here. Mm. Okay. Um, and then... So the dog I am looking at has a lot darker head and I'm going to go in with the uh, watercolour pencil in red violet and just adding a little bit of shadow. I don't want to add because the dog I'm looking at is almost black uh, at the face and I don't want to go that dark with the value because I am marking quite light here. But I still want to add in, so you can see, so that is why the watercolour pencil is really good. You can add in value, but you can make it quite light. And then also this one has darker on the ear. And then just around here on the back, it has a little bit of darkening. And then up on the tail. So I'm just going to have some water and then just a paper towel so I can blot my brush and just activate the pens. So I'm not spending too much time, I just want to get the colour roughly where I put it down. I don't want anything on top of his head or her head, I don't know. And then, of course, here we have a very dark spot, so I'm just going to go in with the little red purple. And the same thing here, we have the darkness. So I'm just going to be like that and hat here. Okay, I think that looks good. So before I do any more layers on this one now, that of course has to dry. So I'm just going to scroll down and see what else we can find and immediately I found an amazing one right here uh, that is looking like forward. So I'm going to put this one out looking left too, so I'm going to put that one uh, right here. So I'm just going to move my board a little bit. and. I actually think I'm going to start with um, the red violet here. Mm, let's see here. This one has a big booty and then the head is over here. I just want to make sure I can fit it on the, on the page. Okay, I think that is fine and it's looking that way where the eyes are about here and the nose is mm, around here. I think they are so cool with this um, sort of arched nose. 
Yeah. Uh, when I was doing a lot with horses before, uh, there's a horse breed called the, the Lipsinian horse. Um, and I was like, oh, those are so ugly because they had that kind of bridge on the nose. Now they are one of my favorite horses. I love that shape. Um, that is so unique to, to them. So that is just, yeah, you know, things change perspective and, and all of that. It looks like a human. <laughs> This is not the best angle for me to draw dogs. I struggle so much with this. Okay. Uh, and they have this really fun shape where their fur sort of falls over. So they, they have a very humanoid um, look to them. They really do. It's really fun. And a little bit creepy, I have to say. But I think the Afghan dogs and just like poodles, they have a very, they have like a presence to them, especially big poodles. Um, smaller poodles are, tend to be just annoying. Albert isn't here, so he can't hear me. Uh, <laughs> no, but especially big, big poodles, they, uh, they definitely have that sort of presence to them. So this one is a lot shorter. Uh, the fur is a lot shorter, so I'm trying to find all of these. Here he is! Hey! Hello! How did you do that? Huh? Uh, I think I made the eyes too big, that is what. Ah. Uh, what is wrong with it? Two big eyes. Okay. We have all of that. I'm not going to go too far. I'm going to let this one go behind that one. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just really trying to get, but still, it has a lot of fur, and I really want to get the, the feeling of it without having to make all of it stand out um, and they do have a really odd body shape I have to say um, something like that and then you can see the back leg here you know what I'm going to stop because this is a watercolor pen I'm just going to see what we have here color down and this <laughs> I have to say the best part with watercolor pencil is that well that did not turn out well then add some water and you just take away it <laughs> hey Albert hey oh, what have you done? What have you done? Uh, let's see if we can find some that is looking the other way. Here we have one. Okay, <clears throat> so I found a really nice one here and I'm going to go in with the um, beige red. Beige red. And this is, a, this is a nice one. So if I'm just starting to look at it, it looks very much like, uh, let's see it, oh, I was like, it's ending here, but no, the legs end way far back. Okay, we have the head with that awful three-quarter view. Hey! And then huge, this is like shampoo commercial. Uh, they really do have perfect head on they? Okay, anyway. <laughs> Uh, and then we have a little bit of that coming over, but they have this really nice straight back. And then when they come to uh, have that angle, 
that goes almost straight down and then fade out. Okay. But the front angle is very straight. And we have the here. And this one is cut so like the stomach fur is all straight. And so the only angle you actually have on this one is really on the back legs here. Very roughly I'm trying to show the straight, the straightness. Um, you can barely see it on the other side. And then they have that nose going down. You can see a little bit of the down chin. And then you can't see much as in the shadow. Something like that. I think really, I really like doing this with dogs. I, I find it quite amazing how one like one type of animal can look so incredibly different. Okay. I'm going to go in add a little bit more detail with my cinnamon. Okay, so this one has dried now and I want to go in and add some details. So I'm going to see what kind of uh, detail pen I have to work with. Um, let's see if I do have a grey one. I actually think I want to use, I have one with sort of a yellow, yellow brown in. Can I remember what pen I filled that one with? No, I cannot. Let's see. Not in that one. That one doesn't have anything in it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that one is green. It might be this one. I sort of like buying cheap fountain pens on AliExpress. Yeah, this one is it. I really like this one. Okay. Because I do think that this one I think is pink. It doesn't really go if I would like to have a purple, but I don't have that one. This one had purple before, but it doesn't work, so okay, I'm not going to or should we do this one is dark grey. You know what? I'm going to do dark grey instead. Yep. Because I think I want to keep it on the cooler side. Okay, so now we're going to just find the details here. I think that this is the sort of the afghan that sort of sweep the uh, the bang sort of. I want to really try to get that without making it look this messy. Gosh, we have to practice on the other ones. Okay, and then uh, they also have quite a lot of here on the ears. And I want to make it look, because it looks like they have volume. Like there's real volume in the, in the air here. <laughs> Which is just, yeah. I mean, I don't think I would ever want to have this kind of dog because uh, I think it's too demanding. I say, and I have a poodle, but um, the poodle, yeah, I don't know. And it feels like these are too fancy for me. Yeah, they just look like they, uh, this is not a dog you own, and this is a dog you are allowed to look at, sort of. <laughs> and I know big poodles who are like that too. Yeah, I have met quite a few big ones that are like, well, you are allowed to look at me, but only for a moment. <laughs> and then I have met big poodles who are just, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think that the smaller ones are, they don't have that kind of uh, high thoughts about themselves. But yeah, definitely the big ones are very much this, like, you are allowed to look at me. <laughs> 
So now I want to do more on this one right here. And this one is, it's a lovely mm, bluey grey sort of. Um, so I'm going to go in with um, the cinnamon colour pencil and uh, just add a little bit of dimension to this very pretty dog. Okay, something like that and uh, I'm just going to activate the color it sounds so like uh, so cool like activating the color but it is pretty cool actually so something like this okay so while this now is activated I want to go back to I want to go back to oh my god okay wait 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 <laughs> I just saw one okay so this one is looking so cool I cannot mm -mm, we have to we have to try to do this one justice I don't know if we can because this one is like it's like the coolest I have seen okay um I'm going to Mm, I wish I had like a whole page for this one. It's just up the profile of a, of an Afghan. So I'm going to use my my red violet and just hope I can. And I have to place it about mm, about here, I think. has like such cool eyebrows well the dogs don't have eyebrows like we do but this one is oh gosh it's so cool <laughs> and here you can really tell that they have this such cool bridge of the nose I think something like this like that and then they have Okay, so what's really cool about this one is that about here, and where it comes, it has like a little half up style, which I, uh, and then that just disappears with all the fur, and then it has a little bit he, she, I don't know. I think I'm going to add in my line first, and then I'm going to go over and, um, wet and then build up the, the value. So we do a little bit different this time. Yeah, so the way I have my studio is um, is just uh, inside of the kennel. So they have like a little outside yard that dogs can be in if we are not at home. Oh, <laughs> of it, a bit. Uh, obviously I am home um, but it's a place where they can go in and out as they want to and um, I just keep the door open and that way they can go into the kennel and I keep the kennel door open so they can come into my studio when they want to so yeah we uh, it's really nice actually not when it's super cold, then it's not very nice <laughs> for me anyway. But yeah. Um, I think these are, it's so hard with this. Like, where do you stop? I don't know. I just want to continue and continue, but yeah. Okay. And this is not a good angle for my hand I can tell you that okay but we're almost done I just want to have 
a little bit of definition, a little bit of detail before we, we move on. So I'm going to go in with the, with the Cinnamon Pet Artist pen. And I just want to add in a little bit more shadows. Okay, something like that. Um, and I want to go over it again with my um, red violet to add in even more contrast. And build up these values. So I have gone over pretty much everything. And now I can sort of shape out using it as a... As when you do, like, when you, um, what is it called? When you're sculpting something, <laughs> you can sort of shape and take away stuff uh, and that kind of. Um, and you can use the pen in the same way, you're just trying to remove the excess that you don't need in order to create the shape you want. And then we are going to add a little bit more shadow on this side. Now, in the image, it looks like it's a pretty overcast day, so there isn't any sharp shadows anywhere. Uh, but that is where you can come in as an artist. And I feel like this image would benefit from some more, more contrast and a little bit more shadows. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm not particular when I, I just want to get a little bit of color out. I don't blend much. I don't make sure the edges look nice. I just want to have, get the texture and the value from it. Okay. And then we let that dry. <laughs> it's all the time. Okay. And we're going back to this super, oh, I'm going to do, so we have, we drew this one with the red violet, but I'm going to go in and lay a coat of the cinnamon. So when I go over it with this, I will have a little bit of that red violet coming through. But here what I want is to get that the head is sort of mid-color. The long fur is almost white and this part is very, very dark. So that's where I'm going to go in with the red violet. Okay, so a bit more water, and I'm starting here. I'm just going to rinse off so I get rid of a little bit of that uh, color. Okay, anyway, that wasn't really what I had wanted, but I do feel that the more I try to sort of fix it, the paper will start peeling, so. I will just have to try to stay away. Uh, with this one, I want to go in again with my my pen here, and I'm just going to bring this image up so I can, especially the face. The face is what I am like most iffy about. Well, because that's where you typically focus. Uh, it's the face that is has all of that character and yeah there's something about these togs with the eyebrows this one looks like it's smiling and the dog I have on the image is definitely not smiling Let's see if we can try to fix that mm -mm. this might just be one of those that you have to you win some, you lose some, and then you super lose some. <laughs> I think this is uh, one of those. Okay. Oh god, if my hair could look like this. Jeez. Okay, there's something wrong, wrong with the mouth here. I'm going to see if I can fix that. Maybe it's just, it's not as defined as it needs to be. So it's a bit hard to read it. Go 
could be that. And I think once again we don't have any feet, so yeah. I just really want to make sure that even though it looks like a very straight and without angles, I know that they do have them and I just want to make sure that we try to um, try to see that anyway. Yeah, okay, that, that is looking better. I think now we have a little bit more contrast. It's a little bit easier to, to read what is going on. Um, so now I'm going to bring out my red violet pastel pen. I haven't used this one yet. And what I want to do this is like creating a more value and a little bit more depth into where this dog has darker areas. And this one isn't super dark around the nose, but I just want to give it a little bit, a little bit more like that. And I want to do the same with this one, just checking if it's dry enough to do that. So on this watercolour paper, the pen doesn't move a lot, but it's enough so that you can just shade it a little bit. But you won't be you don't have to be afraid that you will get it all over. So I really like working with these pens. They're very nice to work with. So you can see I can sort of fade it out, but they won't go all over. So I think they're very, very nice to work with if you want to start off with a little bit of pastel because I feel like they are so vibrant and soft and yeah I just I really like them. Okay. Um. <laughs> so I don't like what's happening there. This cinnamon is reading much too orange because it's so close to that red violet um, they sort of they bounce off each other so I'm just going to look through the other ones I have and I know I had one that is grey yes I'm just going to go over just to mute that down a little bit and fade that into the distance. Yeah. This one. But I do really wish I could get this red violet in a brush artist pen. I mean, when I got these pens, I got two sets, so 24 of them. Um, and I was like, okay, I will never use them, what I'm going to do with them. But now I've really made an effort to work with them a lot, trying them out in all types of th things I do. And now I do really like them, so yeah. But sometimes you just have to make an effort to get to know them, even though you don't think you might like them, so. <laughs> I think so anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to draw in a little bit of an eye here. Um, and then you can, of course, go back we either darken it up a little bit. I kind of like having the grey and not using black here. Um, but of course we can go in with white and just make bring that out. Do we have a white? We do have a white. How will that look just if we can make it work? There we go. 
something like that. It'll really make it stand out a little bit more. Okay, now for our last friend over here. Uh, once again, <laughs> I will need to look at the the image for this one. Okay, so this one, because it's more like uh, looking straight forward, uh, they do have a very like sharp hairline. Uh, so I really want to see if I can get that. Um, I don't know how they do. I mean, I suppose you you shave them. Do you need to shave the faces? Like with poodles, you need to shave shave the faces of them. But do you do that with Afghans too? I don't know. Can see. And this one looks definitely like it is smiling, even on the photo, so. And the eyebrow. It sort of gets lost behind all of that. Um, and then this cool, cool nose bridge. And then we go down the neck here. And I want to see if we can try to get the... shape of the neck. And when I do these kind of studies, um, I, I quite often add in stuff like here it has a, like a hair tie and, and that kind of stuff, but I rarely put in the, put in the collar. So this one has a collar, but I, I want to bring that in because I feel like there is no need to. It doesn't bring anything to the to the image. Okay, so I'm going to do the outline for this completely because this one is much looser than the others and I really want to try to keep that um, so I don't want to go in and poke it too much I say and do exactly that stop it okay because I really like that I'm going to make that a little bit smaller uh, yeah I, I really like that actually so yeah here we go so that is um, that is it I think I'm going to give uh, this one just a little bit of ground to stand on. I feel like it's floating a little bit too much. And I don't mind floating dogs. I think floating dogs could be can be really, really nice. But in this case, I feel like it could, uh, could use some, some ground to stand on. And here, because I hadn't done any lines here, I can just go in with that ground color and sort of carve out and add fur texture, but negatively. And that is stuff I really like. I think that looks really cool. But that you kind of finish it, but the other way around. Uh, I do feel like these brush pens are very nice and they do lay down pretty good but this cool grey I have to say is the only one that I felt like it is very streaky but the other ones I feel like are pretty are pretty good um, so I like that but then I also want to do something like this on this page so we sort of frame it a little bit more so I'm going to do that here and I'm going to try to do a circle <laughs> I say that because I like the look of it, but p doing circles is just a pain in the, you know, where paints usually are. So I'm going to put it 
about here, I think. And yeah. Ooh. Okay, that was good. Okay, and yeah, it's fine. <laughs> uh, okay. And here is a great example where you can go in and sort of paint negatively to get a little bit more life into it. So I think we're going to stop stop here. That is uh, a little session in my journal, playing around with limited <laughs> art supplies or limited color palette anyway. Um, I think it's very, very fun to do this. And I'm usually very happy with the page because even though not all, like these are not good in all of themselves, but together they, they become better and uh, because I can like to keep it to a very limited colors they sort of go well together and it's kind of pleasing to look at it's very cohesive so if you want to um, to do this go right ahead and um, yeah I hope you feel inspired and that you want to try something similar I really enjoy this and I feel like this is a, a very simple technique uh, to just choose like um, five or six uh, different things and sitting down and not having to worry about picking new colors or picking new mediums all the time you have your set um, and I typically always use a fine liner and a white pen so yeah um, if you have any questions just leave them down below and uh, I hope to see you back on Saturday for a new vlog